My name is Byron, and I'm a representative of Worksman Cycles, the oldest bicycle manufacturer in the United States. This is the instructional video on how to assemble your new Worksman heavy duty bicycle. Before beginning, keep in mind that if you're confused, it would be wise to have a bicycle technician assemble the bicycle for you. Also, it would be wise to look through the owner's manual for safety and maintenance instructions. I will be moving pretty quickly, so feel free to stop the video after each step to ensure proper assembly. Let's begin. The first step in this assembly is to attach the fender to the front fork. This is done by unscrewing the nut on the front fork and simply placing that bolt through the bracket on the fender and tightening the bolt securely. This is what you should have at this point. The next step is attaching the front fork to its wheel. To do this, we must use the axle attachment case, which includes one axle, four washers, two nuts, and two retention clips. First, find the wheel axle and thread on an end nut. Next, slide on two washers and then slide the whole axle through the fender arm. Next, slide on a retention clip onto the axle, facing inwards. Next, slide that axle through the wheel hub, ensuring that the fork is sitting on both ends of the axle. Slide on the same components in the opposite fashion on the opposite side of the wheel. Remember, it is very important to ensure that the retention clips are in proper position. Tighten both end nuts very securely. This is what you should have at this point. If your bicycle came equipped with a front drum brake, note the following. Installation is primarily the same, except you must make sure that the drum brake mount slides into the protrusion shown here. You should tighten the screw very, very securely. The following step is the attachment of the front fork with the wheel to the bicycle frame. First, slide a bearing balls facing upwards onto the headset cup of the front fork. Slide the steering tube up through the hole in the frame. Place another bearing balls facing downward onto the headset cup of the top of the frame. Next, Thread on an adjustment cone all the way to the bottom. Which is then followed by a keyed washer. A regular washer. A reflection bracket ensuring that the bracket is pointing forwards and finally the top lock nut which is to be tightened hand securely. This is what you should have at this point. The handlebar assembly is next. Loosen the handlebar stem bolt on the top and slide the stem through the top lock nut of the head assembly. When at its desired height, tighten that same bolt to make sure that the stem stays at that de designated height. Make also, you should make sure that the clamp lines up with the wheel. Loosen the clamp and slide the handlebars in at its desired angle. When the angle is found, tighten the clamp very securely. Next, slide on the handlebar grips 
on each end of the handlebar. If your bicycle came equipped with a front drum brake or a three-speed shifter, their handlebar components are attached in the following manner. Both brake levers and gear shifters are attached in the same way, with a bracket system seen here. Installing the kickstand is next. Loosen the nut on the kickstand bracket until it is very loose. Place this bracket in the gap behind the crank ensuring that the kickstand is pointing outwards and tightened very securely. Installing the pedals comes next. Each of the pedals is marked with an L or an R denoting what side of the bike they belong on. The R pedal fits on the right side, the sprocket side of the crank arm. The L fits on the opposite side and is tightened in a counterclockwise direction. Finally, attaching the seat comes last. Flip the seat over and loosen the clamp on the bottom. Slide the seat post into the bottom of the clamp and find your desired angle. Tighten this nut securely to ensure that the seat does not rotate. Slide the seat post into the clamp on the bike frame and place at your desired height. Tighten the clamp nut very securely. The reflector installation is the last part of the assembly. The white reflector goes on the front of the bike, while the red is on the rear. The long reflectors are attached directly onto the spoke of the wheel by sandwiching the spoke between the nut and the reflector itself. That concludes the instructional video on how to assemble your new Worksman Heavy Duty Bicycle. Refer to the manual for maintenance and safety tips. If you have any further questions, feel free to call us at 888-3-WHEELER or email us at cycles at worksman.com. We hope you're as proud as we are to be riding on one of America's real treasures, the Worksman Industrial Cycle.